Hey everyone, CCC Genesis here with the, the Lumia deck profile. This is my Lumia build. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun, honestly. I, I loved rebu rebuilding Lumia and replaying it. For, it's been a very long time since I played her. So, her G activation costs two red, two colorless. She has an Energizer red. The reason why I mainly play her is because of the, whenever a Resonator attacks, deal 100 damage to target Resonator. So it allows you to run cards like Lethal Arrow, Demon Flame. It lets cards be easier to trade into as well. It also lets First Strike users be easier to handle with, I guess. But um, her jack when she deactivates, she gets a limit counter too. She has a natural uh, natural swiftness with a limit counter too. So the limit counters um, when she swings or blocks twice, she puts yourself into the ruler zone. So it's back with like the old uh, little, the little dread, back in a green cluster format where she would put herself back into the ruler zone at the end of turn. But when she enters the field, she does 800 damage to target Resonator. Wish it was J slash Resonator, but uh, Life is Cluster was very sort of fair when it came to the Star decks. I wouldn't say really fair because v was a, because V-Seam was a ruler. But I digress. So this is uh, a black-red deck. There's two basic red for Ebon Holmes. Ebon Holmes is just to keep the consistency of, of black as much as possible. It also could potentially remove uh, key cards from your opponent's top of the opponent's deck, which is Sometimes helpful. Rarely or not, you don't really care about the the cop card of the deck being removed, but sometimes it's useful. And then four scorched bales. Simple enough. It's a black red deck. You want as much black, and we want want as much red as possible. So onto the deck. Four goblins. Um, four red caps, but. They're goblins, let's be honest here. Um, they're a 2 2 with swiftness, they can replace themselves, so you're able to trade, you're able to swing, deal 100 damage, demon flame, or let you. demon flame, or lethal arrow something for free. Red Cap is just innately a very strong card that can replace itself constantly, so overall, really good card. Next, we go with two Omoshimataro. Uh, Taro is a very, actually really strong resonator in this list because it combos well with uh, Goblin. If you have two black stones and you have a Goblin on the field, you just swing with Goblin. They don't block it, they get punished by Taro. Uh, I wish I had more Taros, but unfortunately I cannot find more in my room. I cannot find more. So, I'd maybe, I would probably bump Taro to three. But other than that, uh, Taro is a really strong resonator for this. Whenever, uh, so, when something is dealt damage to it, instantly kill it. Very nice. Instead, I play three Explorer on Mount Hoel. She's actually very useful since most of the deck is chant based. Since most of the deck is primarily chants, because we have a lot of small, cheap removal spells, very little resonators in this deck actually. So she looks at the top card of her deck because the chant puts your hand, so she can innately replace herself. And if it's with like a Demon Flame or Lightning Lethal Arrow, it's very useful. Uh, we do play some burn spells like Crimson Sanctuary and Lightning Strike, but we'll get that to it later on. Then, three, Nyarlathep, the Realized Truth. Um, she's just there to mainly just release a sealed item, the sealed on the, the addition or the burn spell. Also, the fact that you're able to bump to puff. Sorry, to buff up your resonators to deal a little bit more da to deal just a little bit more damage is really uh, useful as well. She also has flying, which uh, again can also be useful. Four hasters because uh, this is basically the boss monster deck. Oh, uh, whenever he has a limit to or two natural swiftness if you are playing Lunia. Uh, whenever you attack or block, he deals 400 damage to target Resonator. Well, J slash Resonator. 
combined with Looney, that's 500 damage to a Resonator, or five, one to four. So you're able to sp spread damage across multiple creatures, which is very strong. Uh, has there's a 9-9 body for a 3-drop, which is very powerful for a 3-drop. But then again, it comes back to your hand at the end of turn if once the limit counters are gone. And then, one came. Uh, I might play came as a 2-of. Came is very strong. Uh, when he enters the field, uh, take control target resonator that's 2-drop or less. Recover, give it a swiftness, and then swing. Whenever something swings, it deals 200 damage to your opponent first. Which is lovely, so it's easier to, so it's more damage, and then you're able to bash a card to give it swiftness. So you could take your opponent's resonator, swing with it, bash, and give them swiftness. Very overall, it's very strong. Also, the fact that you can steal your opponent's red cap, swing with the red cap, sack the red cap, search your own red cap, play a red cap. It's hilarious. Next, we move on to spells. Four Demon Flame, and then I'm just going to show the four Lethal Arrow because this is basically the same. It's basically the same thing. Uh, you just deal. You just kill dealt damage resonators, which is pretty much the reason why we play this deck. Um, Red Cap is pretty much a true Estonia death, no matter what. It's pretty much Estonia death, especially they just deal 100 damage. You Estonia death their creature. Feels good, man. Feels good. Now we're going to get on to our burn. I play three Crimson Sanctuary just to deal a little bit more damage to uh, your opponent. Uh, it does 400 damage to player or 300 damage to target J slash Resonator without the seal. With the seal, it does 700 damage to target player or 700 damage to target J slash Resonator. So it can be used as a removal tool or just an achieve the burn spell. Obviously being able to burn your opponent for 700 as a semi aggro deck is very strong. Next I play three, Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike is just a very good card in the aggro deck. Just being able to deal 500 damage to target play ja player, J slash Resonator is very useful, it has a lot of deterrent. A lot of utility, you're able to play it on a Resonator early in the game. Well, you're able to remove Mana Dorks, you're able to remove bigger threats with this and a Demon Flame if you need to. If you don't have any Resonators pretty much, or you just burn your opponent out. Three, Nameless Mist. Nameless Mist is there to pretty much get rid of pesky counter spells, get rid of Severing Winds, get rid of vanishes, get rid of other people's burn spells, get rid of key cards that key cards pretty much. Like you just and then give it the the plus one plus one rarely happens, but when it does happen it's very useful. That like you make a red cap of three three instead of a two two so it becomes a hunter of a black forest instead of a red cap. It's very good. One final battle uh, Final Battle is just primarily there to uh, board wipe big boards potentially and then continue on with your plays or to remove ru other remove rulers again in case you don't have any lightning strikes or Christmas sanctuaries or hasters. Pretty much it's just there to save you. Three blood sprays just to primarily di dig deeper in our deck. We do not care about our life. Since we are an aggro deck, we want to have as many resources as possible. This also gives us more resources to use against our opponents. Honestly, if I can play the first lie, I would be playing the first lie. This is basically a guaranteed first lie. Without instant speed, obviously. And against control decks, they don't want you to draw. Because that means they give you resources. And two, Blazing Foundation Castle. Sorry, Blazing Floating Castle Refarth. But where did I get a foundation from? I'm sorry, guys. So it allows all your resonators, well, all your J slash resonators to block flying units, which is decently helpful, I guess. But 
at seal seven, or if you had Neuro step on the field, you could tap it to deal 500 damage to target J slash Resonator. So being able to have a free thunder every turn is very useful in terms of defensively and aggressively just because you're able to tap on your recovery step, untap it, tap it again, or tap, kill it with a lightning strike, or sorry, kill it with a lethal arrow, a demon flame, or be able to kill off rulers like Kyrick is very helpful. And then last replay three, Wolf Rain. Wolf Rain is pretty much deal 900 damage to target Resonator. Deal 900 damage to target J Resonator. Or deal 900 damage to player. This is pretty much a really strong finisher. A really strong removal tool. The fact that you also deal extra 300 damage to any Resonator. To any Resonator is really nice. So it's pretty much 1200 damage to any Resonator. 900 damage to Ruler. Plus 300 damage to any Resonator. And then 900 damage to target player slash 300 damage to resonators. It's a really strong finisher. It also very it combos well with uh, Kame, since it will be like if you had Kame on the field, you swing with all three uh, wolf tokens. They would take 600. So very strong finisher card. Very good control card. Is able to help control the board. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. I'll see you guys next time.